my name is Dr. Sarah Chestnut. I am an educational psychologist working in the southwest of England, and I'm also a committee member for the Division of Educational and Child Psychology within the BPS. So it's really difficult to describe a typical day as an educational psychologist. And I guess one of the great aspects of the role is that each and every day is really uniquely different. But I suppose as educational psychologists or EPs for short, we work with people from birth right up to 25 years of age. Um, um, one part of the role is working with schools. So that includes working with children, teachers, support staff and senior leaders to create an environment where young people can kind of develop and really grow. And a key area of our work is consultation. And that involves meeting with parents, school staff, professionals, and often the child. And it's about exploring their strengths and what they find difficult and using psychology to understand what might be happening for that child. And also kind of co-constructing solutions to help make their experience of education and life better. alongside that I spend part of the day working on my specialist areas of interest so one of these is working within the early years so this could be visiting a family in their home to hear about their story so far to complete some play-based assessment and following that sort of working collaboratively with health and social care just to make sure that that child is supported throughout their early years and right into that transition to school. Another area of my specialist work is focused around social, emotional and mental health. So that includes lots of things. It might be facilitating workshops for parents to explore the importance of positive attachments within childhood. It could be working therapeutically with young people who find attending school really difficult due to their feelings of anxiety. Uh, and more recently, I've been working alongside a paediatrician to develop and deliver some training for GPs around psychological and health impact of early adversity. And alongside all of that work, I have my own supervision, and that's incredibly valuable for my own well-being, but also reflecting psychologically about my work as well. My favourite aspect of working as an EP is discovering how children and young people see and experience the world. Um, I absolutely love finding out about their talents, their interests, what they, what makes them excited really. Um, I just love having conversations, observing what they do and speaking to the people that know them best really. Um, and I suppose for me it's about using positive psychology, so that real strengths-based approach in my work to support and co-creating change. And I think that can be incredibly powerful. And for me, I think that's one of my favourite parts of the job. I've worked and trained uh, across various parts of the UK. Um, so first of all, I completed an undergraduate degree in psychology, and that was at the University of St Andrews in Scotland. And after graduating from there, I worked within a domestic abuse charity. So I was therapeutically supporting children and young people who were living with domestic violence. And after that, I completed a psychology master's degree in child development. So that was in Northern Ireland at Queen's University, Belfast. And shortly after that, I moved to England to work as an assistant psychologist. So firstly, I was working in a specialist school for children with autism. And then after that, I worked directly within a local authority. And I guess those experiences for me give me a really good basis to start my doctoral training within educational psychology. And that was at the University of Exeter. Experience working with children and young people, I think is really invaluable in working towards a career within educational psychology. So that could be in any sector, it might be education or health or social care, or it might be in youth justice or community settings as well. And it's really about exploring how children interact, how they learn and how they develop, as well as using and applying that psychology to support your understanding and your work as well. I think what's really important is reflecting on your own experiences and your thoughts and your actions. And that can be really helpful. So it's about having a go at being a reflective practitioner, which is really important in the role of an educational psychologist. As well, if you can speak to an educational psychologist, so in your local area 
or by attending a doctoral university open day, that can be really beneficial. As part of the Division of Educational and Child Psychology within the BPS, so the DCP, we hold an annual pre-training event and it happens around October time each year. And that can be a really great way to meet EPs and to understand the training and the role. And you can find out a bit more about that and kind of similar events by following us on social media. So Twitter, we're at DECP official or on Facebook, it's BPS, Division of Educational and Child Psychology.